Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So one of my subscribers, which I am very thankful for, has requested for me to do a makeup tutorial on the video that I'm going to have linked right up here. Make sure to watch that video if you haven't watched it already. And this is a very quick and super simple makeup tutorial, literally only a few steps, and you can get this done probably within the next like five, ten minutes. I don't know how long this video is going to be, of course, because I like talking, but I did go in with every product that I used, along with every brush that I used, to make it super simple for you guys. And I'm so sorry, my lighting. I switched positions, uh, or rather I switched rooms, and my kids are right now bathing with my husband in my bathroom. So I had to come to my sister's room, and of course the lighting isn't the best. So I was like, let me bring my little light kit. Yeah. Very light. So if you guys really like this video, make sure to like it. And I am definitely down to be filming more makeup tutorials. I really love doing makeup tutorials because I really like makeup. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let's get to the video. All right, guys. So I did have a subscriber ask me to do a video of a makeup tutorial of one of my previous videos from when I first started YouTube. So I was like, sure, definitely can do that for you guys. It's a very quick and easy makeup tutorial. So I hope that this video doesn't turn out to be too long. I'll also link the products down below if you guys are interested in purchasing these items. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. And shout out to my kid and ears. My sister-in-law bought me this for Christmas and I'm like putting it to good use, so. All right, so I remember back then, I was definitely using the, I think this is, yeah, Maybelline, the Instant Age Rewind Eraser in this color, or in this one, which is, I use the Fair Claire, which I know it doesn't show it there, but this is the Fair Claire. And then I think I was already using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. And so much I've loved this concealer that I literally, I'm basically scraping <laughs> to get the makeup out. How I did it is I literally just concealed my under bangs and I don't even think I was color correcting back then. So my under bangs and then any places where I had imperfections like pimples. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and wind this up. Put some here, here, up here, 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 here. And then also covering up my red spots. And then I do want some on my nose so you can't see the difference. And then I'm going to use the Camel Concealer. I'm using it in Fair Rose. Like I said, I'm literally scraping the bottom of this. I'm just going to go ahead and put it over where I have the other concealer. And that's that way it's not too orangey on me. I'm using the Morphe M173. Back then I was using a beauty blender, but I want to use this today. Let's see how it works out. And then obviously I am going to blend it out with a little um, sponge, but I wanted to go ahead and use this today. <laughs> So that blended out super seamlessly. I really like this brush for concealer. Again, it's the Morphe M173. It looks like this. I love this brush. And now I'm gonna go in with um, just a sponge. I got these from what? No, I got them from Target. It was Target. So we're just, actually, no, wait, where did I get these from? Oh, I think my daughter just took them. Great, I think it's actually Ulta. I got these from Ulta. Yeah, I did. So I'm just blending. Just going over everything I just did. I want to get out any lines that I had underneath my eyes. So that way when I set it and forget it. So that way when I set it, um, I don't have any lines under my eyes. So I'm just going to set it. And I'm using the Fit Me. So I'm just going under my eyes. And I'm gonna go over my eyelids. Basically, you're setting everywhere that you put the concealer. So, here, here. 
sides of my nose here and here and right now it's gonna look like a lot of a uh, powder in your face but that's okay because what we're gonna do is we're gonna when you use a setting spray it's gonna sink in all the powders to your face so that way it doesn't look like so much powder on your face if that makes sense um i am going to be using my hula benefit bronzer which i'm pretty sure in that video i had the physician's formula bronzer i no longer have that bronzer and when i went to ulta the last time i don't know if they took out physician formula on the one that i have or if they took it out of all of the ultas but i could not find physician's formula and i loved that bronzer i definitely need to buy it because i think the hula bronzer is a little too dark for me but i still make it work and it's fine so what we're gonna do is we're gonna contour or bronze the top of our of our cheeks so over here this is this line that you see here you want to do it above the ear so that way you're not going under it so that way it doesn't look muddy and then we're gonna go ahead and bronze up here and of course our jawline to make sure that we chisel that out so we don't look like for us people who are on the heavier side um it chisels out our jaw so we looks like we have a jaw i mean you can see my jaw but the point of it is so you can look skinnier right right okay so i'm just tapping in and i am using my lower lee los angeles l14 brush which <laughs> baby boy say hi <laughs> and you're cute bronze the nose tap 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 okay i'm gonna use my mirror so i can see really good so we're gonna bronze this line here and this side here Down here, down here, and then we're gonna do a line up here. So I like it to look like a butter nose. Back with our sponge, and just tap it. So that way the line doesn't look too harsh, like that. Then, just like that all right so we are done with the bronzing situation so what i like to do at this time is i like to set my face I'm using the morphe continuous setting mist looks like this and i'm just gonna set my face next we're gonna go ahead and do our um eyeshadow this is a palette that i used for that makeup and i only use i, be, I believe it was only two colors i used from this palette sandy and then i used uh i think that's glare this one and this one. i go in with the collaboration that morphe had with jacqueline hill it's called the jh32 brush looks like this and yes my brushes are a little dirty let's disregard that so I'm gonna go into Sandy, which is that second color. That's like the brown color. And we're just gonna go ahead into the crease. Just like so. So we're gonna do shield wiper motions from left to right, left to right, and then right to left. Just, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. And then we're gonna make sure that we put it in the crease and then on the eyelid as well. Just like so should look like that now we're gonna go in with the glare put that in our inner lid right here and i am using the laura Lee los angeles the l17 brush looks like this it's a flat brush yes it's dirty but let's disregard that tap it in just like that make sure that the brush is fully coated go ahead and use some setting spray by using some setting spray it's gonna get it wet and that way it can be more boom you know what I mean? Like more shimmery. And I like to go like halfway in. 
that makes sense. So we're going to go halfway in. Halfway in. And I like to go in several times with the brush in the shadow and just keep applying. What I've noticed, especially in this palette, the, sh the shimmers are not that great. At least the layer is not that great. But I like the color of it, if that makes sense. Now, lastly, what I like to do is go in with my finger after I have already applied it and just add more. I know it's a lot of adding, but I like for it to pop, if that makes sense. And sometimes with different shimmer colors, you want to go in with your finger because your finger will make it pop too and will apply it better than a brush. And for those of you who may have put just a little bit too much and you want to go ahead and make the outer corners back to with the color that you originally applied, you can always go back in with that color that you applied it with. So just go in and just go in. And that's it. You're done with the eyes. I told you, super simple. Just needed two colors. And these two colors, honestly, you can probably find in like any palette. It's like a gold champagne color and just a regular brown. Like a light brown, not a dark brown, of course, as you guys saw. So I'm with the eyeshadow like I just mentioned. So we're going to move on to the eyes. By the eyes, I mean by like the mascara. Now, in that video, I was not using false lashes. I just curled my eyelashes with a curling, with an eyelash curler. Mine is by Mark. Mine is super, super old. Um, but I do change the piece that goes inside of it. But this is what mine looks like. It's just Mark. It's just like a regular one. You can get whichever one you honestly prefer. I do not like the e.l.f. one. I bought the e.l.f. one and it did not do anything to my eyes. Like anything. And I bought it just to try it out because, you know, it was cheap, you know. But I don't know. The e.l.f. one did not work for me. If it works for you, great. But for me, it didn't work. I wanted my eyelashes to be more curls. So I went back to my Mark one. And girl, I love it. And the Mark brand is a, the sister brand to Avon. You know? So, hey, it works for me. I love it. So we're going to go ahead and curl our lashes. And I like to curl them several times so we can be super long. And the way that I know that it's to the, the curl that I want is if I touch, when I look up like that, and I touch my up here with my eyelashes i know that's perfect curled doing it until it is fully curled and i will be right back so i have it fully curled all right guys it is fully curled and when i look up like this the my eyelashes are already like touching my eyelid which i love that so the mascara that we're gonna go in with is the l'oreal telescopic carbon black not the new one that came out because you know that's a lot of rave going around there but this one it's the one that I was wearing in that video. So we're going to go ahead and just <laughs> just going to go ahead and use the same one. Now I'm going to use this because I need to be up close and personal with my eyelashes. So we're just going to go ahead and apply. So I like to go all the way from the root all the way up. One side looks like, and it looks like I just put on like eyeliner, but I didn't. As you can see, there's no eyeliner. But I go all the way to the root of my eyelashes, and then I go up. All right, guys, we changed sceneries because my kids got into mud, and my husband's like, the kids just got into mud, I have to shower them, and I'm like, okay, fine. So, we are in my sister's bathroom now and the lighting may not be the same and i do apologize but we have two more steps left and by the way i put mascara on my top lashes and my bottom lashes and the next steps are highlighter i use the lori los angeles glaze light kit the highlighter palette and it's the light to medium palette and i typically use diamonds and glow gal these two right here so i use her highlighting brush 
the L'Oreal Los Angeles brush and I use it in the L15. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap into this, tap into this one, tap, tap off. Gonna go up here. We're gonna go up here. Cuba doll. Get some more. Cuba doll. And maybe some up here. Maybe some up here. Because you can see the highlighter's there. Highlighter's there. Cuban's wheel is popping. And up here and up here. Now, I go in with my finger. Tap into both of them. And I go on the tip of my nose. Tap it out. It's not so crazy. The bridge of my nose. I go in the inner corner of here. Go in the inner corner over here. And up here and up here. And do you happy for that? Now, we're done with the highlighter palette. The last thing that I use is my Juvia's Place. It's glass. And this is a lip gloss. I love this lip gloss so, 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 so much. And we're just gonna go ahead and apply it. And I was just biting my lips, so my skin there is like, what are you doing? And I love this lip gloss. I love it so much. And there you have it. Let me take this off. And there you have it. The same exact look as in that video. And super simple, super easy makeup tutorial. Let me get a different lighting and different angle so I can show you better. So this is the makeup look. The same exact look in my previous video my previous video in like my video from like a year ago and yeah so tell me what you think obviously my teeth are straighter now than it was in that video i was doing invisalign then and yeah so that is a makeup tutorial make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye